Florida pioneers, <laughs> they were tough people because they had to live in tough circumstances. Um, everything was thick, tropical vegetation, just naturally so. It wasn't all cut down and landscaped and highways and lawns and all that stuff. And here in Palm Beach County, we had bears, we had panthers, we had uh, bobcats, lots of alligators. Lots and lots of rattlesnakes. You had to know what you were doing if you lived in this place. And there were very few homes, almost no homes, in almost all of Palm Beach County except right along the ocean. And the reason for that was there were no roads. And uh, if you lived in Palm Beach County, you had to live close to the ocean so you could get supplies by boat. If you raised oranges or uh, pineapples or anything, you had to be close to the ocean to put your supplies on boats to take them to where people would buy them. If you lived in Florida in the early days, the day started before the sunrise. You had no clock, you had no telephone, no cell phone, no television, no radio. All you had was your family. And you'd be up to do some kind of task, whatever your family did for a living. If they raised a crop, you'd be dealing with that. If they raised cows, you'd be dealing with that. Yeah, back in the early days when people raised cows, uh, they would have to drive them, what we call a long cattle drive, to the coast where they could be loaded on boats and taken to wherever they were selling them. Most of the cattle for better than 200 years that were raised in Florida went down to Cuba. Uh, Cuba's nice lush green all year and they could raise cows, nice fat ones, but they never have raised a lot of cows in Florida. Why do you think that is? I'll tell you what it is. Because cows eat grass. And the whole Cuban economy depends upon grass. A big grass called sugarcane. So you can't have a lot of cows wandering around eating your sugarcane. So they got their cows from Florida. Of course, we were part of Spanish Florida for 300 years. So it was like natural that Florida should be supplying beef to Cuba. And then when railroads came along, and when folks from English-speaking colonies north of Florida began to move in, cows would be shipped either by boats or later by railroads north, particularly near the end of the war. We were the, the beef basket for the uh, Confederate states. Most of Florida's cattle go to Kansas and Texas. This far west of the ocean, it was all wild country. And eventually there were some people that built temporary homes like this or places, camps is basically what this was. This building is uh, 100 years old. And it was built in the what we can now call the Corbett Wildlife Area, which is here in Palm Beach County, where you live. Cow hunters used it. That's what they were always called in Florida, cow hunters. Out west they call them cowboys. Spanish brought horses to Florida in 1521, that's 500 years ago. They're the ones that brought the cattle and the horses here. But uh, they used whips. And you know, I told you how the dogs get the cattle together, then we call the dogs behind our horses and we move the cows. And if you're a herd of cows right there and I want you to go that way, I sit, while sitting on my horse, I crack this whip real out over here and you go away from the sound right where I want you to go. Because you could hear them cracking those whips for so long as they moved slowly through the woods with the cattle, people used to say, oh, I hear the whip crackers. <laughs> I hear those Florida whip crackers. I hear those Florida crackers coming. And that is the oral tradition of the state of Florida and it's probably the way it actually occurred. Though people tell other stories about where the name comes from. And to people that grew up in Florida, Particularly if their family has been here for many years, they're proud of the name Florida Cracker. Some people nowadays, particularly if they move here from up north, uh, tend to use the word cracker like it's a bad word, which is an insult to the people that take pride in their history and their heritage right here in Florida, right here in Palm Beach County. <laughs>